Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Science Gym Show. I am indeed the one, the only, and that's probably a good thing, Science Gym. Hello and welcome. All right, today I'm going to be honest, flat out honest. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to tell the truth. I always do. I'm going to do it now. Here you go. You ready? This is gross. There you go. Got the truth. What I'm going to talk to you about today is disgusting. So if you got weak stomachs, <laughs> if you have trouble sleeping at night, if you're perhaps a hypochondriac, turn me off now. All right, you've been warned. All right, that's all That's all I'm going to say. You've been warned. Because what I'm going to do today is really pretty disgusting. Although it's also fascinating, and that's why I want to talk to this about, that's why I want to talk about this, because believe it or not, on your body, you are a world. You are a world amongst yourself. It's really cool. From your head to your toe, you've got plants and animals living all over you, outside inside. Yeah, I know. It's kind of gross. But think about it. It's true. You really are your own planet. You're the Megan planet, the Sally planet, the Joseph planet, the William planet. You're your own world. I like to call myself Optimum, Optimine Prime, just for fun. All right. So you are anything you want to be, and you are indeed covered with a trillion different creatures. Probably more. From creatures that actually move, from creatures who are basically plants. You are covered from head to toe. Let's get this started, and I'll show you some of these things. All right, let me move myself over here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, all right, so move myself over, and here we go. Are you ready? First one I want to show you is we're going to start from basically the bottom up, okay? So we're going to start about feet. Okay, here's, here's something living on your feet. This is a foot fungus. Fungus is basically a plant. Fungus is like a mushroom. Well, believe it or not, between your toes, you got funguses. If you've ever had athlete's foot or heard about it, guess what it is? It's a fungus. Now, athlete's foot is when it gets out of control. Probably right now, as we speak, this thing living on your foot, doing its thing, growing, doing everything that a fungus does. Yeah, that's kind of gross, but that's what it's doing. All right, let me show you another one. Uh, let's see, let's bring up, let's see, where'd the other guy go? Um, do, 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 do. Oh, where'd he go? Here, okay. See this? It's kind of pretty, actually, isn't it? <laughs> it's a pretty blue. I could almost see this being, you know, like the wallpaper on your computer. It's kind of nice, to be honest. Well, that's a bacteria, and it's a common foot bacteria, and it eats things, and it does what it does after it eats things, and that's why your feet smell This thing here crawls around your foot, and it's a bacteria, and it eats stuff on your feet. It eats, it eats the, basically, it eats the, the, the stuff in your sweat, really. It's a very specific protein that's in your sweat. And it, mm, that's delicious. And then it does what it does after you eat things, and that's what stinks. So believe it or not, in your feet smell, blame these guys. Staphylococcus epidermidis. That's, yeah, I'd feel free to say that five times fast. But that's what those guys are doing right there. They smell really bad. They're on your feet. And there you go. Actually, they smell fine. It's the stuff that they get rid of that smells real bad. Now, these things here, Staphylococcus hominis, hominis, is pretty much everywhere. All over the outside of your body are things like this. This is also a type of a bacteria. And there's, this is just one of them. They're all over your body, okay? There's millions and trillions of them just living and breathing and doing their things all over your body right now. Now, you're like, oh, my goodness, how can I probably, I'm going to just bathe myself in bleach. That's it. But really, they're not all bad. Some of them are, but they're not all bad. It's actually thought that these things and things, if I can point in the right direction, and things like this are actually kind of good. Because there's a lot of bad things that land on you, viruses and other bacteria. Well, these things and things like them may eat them. Or at least what they may do is they may cover you so thickly with <laughs> this layer of life 
that the other life that lands on you may not be able to get inside of you because it can't go through the crowds. So actually, it's disgusting, I know, and it's hard to believe that these could be good for you, but really, these aren't that bad. Kind of weird, but kind of true. All right, let me show you some more of these things. Let's move up. These guys are inside of you. This is a parasite that's called Pneumocytistis carini. I know I pronounced that wrong, but you can kind of see the name up on the top if you wish. This is a parasite, which means it's a living type of a, if you will, an insect or a worm. It's not, but you can kind of think about it that way. But it's a living, moving thing. It lives and moves in your lungs. It's in you right now. Most of the time, this doesn't hurt you. In fact, these things eat cholesterol, as well as a few other things, amino acids and cholesterol. So you could say it's kind of doing you a favor. But if you get sick, if you get weakened somehow, these things can start to keep pointing the wrong way. These things can start to take over, and when they take over, then it can be a real problem. And this is one of the things that gives people pneumonia, as a matter of fact, is this, is this parasite. So... One of these days, I'll do a whole show on parasites because they're unbelievably cool, and there's another one coming up later, so hold on to your hats. So this parasite lives in your lungs. Yay, how nice. All right, say hey. He lives there, and he's not even paying rent. What good is that? Of course, he is eating some of your stuff, so there you go. This guy lives in your mouth. He's cool, isn't he? He's a paramecium. Again, another small little creature. Your mouth is like the rainforest, man. You've got so much stuff living in your mouth because it's warm and it's wet. And it's got food washing over it all the time. Boy, it's just great in your mouth. It's just the cafeteria. And you've got all kinds of things, funguses and bacteria. And oh my goodness, we're having a great time. This guy, if you could say, does you a favor because this guy eats some of the bacteria. So there you go. You've got a whole food chain happening in your food hole. So, you know, that's kind of nice if you want to think about it that way. All right, so Paramecium candatum living. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing that. If there's any real biologists out there, they're like, oh, I can't stand. I was mispronouncing all these things. These things live all over your head. This is fun. Watch this. This is called a dust mite. Yes, isn't he lovely? You'd just like to have one as a pet. Hey, guess what you do? You've got a million of them as a pet living all over you. Actually, it's probably not a million, but it's probably several thousand. Um, these guys, these guys live not only on you, but they also live in your sheets and your bed and your pillow and yeah. Told you would be gross. I warned you. I warned you not to watch this. All right, so there you go. Uh, your friendly neighborhood dust mite. They also happen to live, be small enough that they can actually live in your pores. Isn't that nice? They actually live inside the holes on your skin. So, yeah. Okay. So, here we go. And here's another one. These ugly little fellas. Good point. Let me break up another one of these guys if I can find them. And where'd he go? Oh, we disappeared. Oh, here. There you go. That's, that's right out of the twilight zone. These guys live in your intestines. Yeah, in your intestines. And actually, these guys, well, not the hookworm. He's very rarely good. Um, but some of these guys are actually good because some of the foods you eat, you cannot digest without help from some of the things that live in your gut. Now, worms generally aren't good things, but you do have, <laughs> really? What a surprise. But you do have uh, bacteria and you have fungus and stuff living in your gut that actually helps you to digest the food that you eat. Without it, you wouldn't be doing nearly as well. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Remember that, um, uh, that thing that lives in your lungs? Yeah, well, it doesn't live anywhere else. It only lives in human lungs only. The only place in the world. They can't grow it outside of lungs. It only lives in human lungs. Nobody's really sure why. There it is. All right, so just thought you'd be nice to know that you are unique. Not only are you infested, but you're unique. Um, all right, let me show you this guy. This guy is what's called a forehead mite. Yes, forehead. In other words, not everybody has these. That's nice, isn't it? Not everybody does. Only approximately 50% of us apparently have these things living inside of us. So good. So flip a coin, heads or tails, you have forehead mites. There you go. All right. So <laughs> there. Have I let you sleep well at night yet? I hope. I'm sure um, you're just going to go right to sleep. Oh, by the way, here's a whole bunch of pictures of things that could live in your intestines. Yeah, look at that. Like four heads or four mouths on top of this worm. This thing's that hookworm again. That's, that'll be good. So, 
These things are tapeworms. Believe it or not, a tapeworm could be to be two, three feet long. <laughs> and they can, they can live inside of you. Yeah, neat. All right, so aren't you, isn't that nice? Aren't you glad you watched the show? All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for coming to the Science Gym Show. I hope I grossed you out sufficiently, but sleep well at night, enjoy, and remember, I warned you. Science Gym Show, more Science Gym stuff at sciencegym.com. Bunch of more of these freebies as well as on, online classes, books, videos, everything your scientific heart may desire, I may have it for you. So long, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Bye-bye for now.